All right, guys, welcome to the final installment of this comprehensive prompt engineering course. Here, I wanted to sort of combine everything that we've been learning about with some best practices that I think are important to follow when crafting your prompts. So whether you're working with ChatGPT or any other language model, these tips will help guide you towards crafting prompts that are clear, concise, and create a natural dialogue. Starting off with defining clear goals and objectives. So before starting any project, it is important to have clear goals and objectives. This will help you choose the right language model and ensure that you are using it effectively. After that, you want to choose the right language model, as it can be important for your specific needs. Consider the factors such as the complexity of your task, the size of your training data, and the available computational resources. Make sure to start with clear and specific prompts. This helps the language model to generate relevant and concise responses and always avoid ambiguity and avoid using vague or unclear words as these can lead to misunderstood or off-topic responses. Set expectations. Clearly state what type of response you're looking for, such as a summary, a list, or a specific type of output format. Be mindful of language biases. Language models have been trained on large amounts of text, so they may reflect biases in the training data. Take this into consideration when generating responses. Next, you want to keep it concise. A language model can generate lengthy responses, but it's important to keep them concise and to the point for better readability and comprehension. Know the limits of the model. Language models have been trained on a wide range of topics, but they still have limitations, just like we've seen in the second lesson. Be aware of these limitations and adjust your prompts accordingly. Always use appropriate evaluation metrics, because when evaluating the output of a language models, you want to choose metrics that align with your specific use case. Remember how the saying goes, prompt evaluation begins with response evaluation. And finally, remember to test and refine your prompts. Before using your prompt in production, taste, test it and make sure it's generating the output you expect you can refine your prompt by adjusting the parameters such as the temperature or top key sampling, or by adding more constraints or conditions to further guide the model's output. Okay, these best practices will help you effectively use language models, and by following these guidelines, you can ensure that your model is accurate, reliable, and is generating high-quality text. Alright guys, I wanted to combine these final pieces of advice with the outro. So what I want to add is a big, big thank you for joining me on this adventure through the world of prompt engineering. I hope that you have gained a deeper understanding of the role and that you are well prepared to work with these models in the future. I hope that you've learned something new and valuable from this course. Doesn't matter if you're a seasoned expert or just starting out. I believe that the knowledge and skills you have acquired here will help you to improve your work with language models and achieve better results. So I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I hope that you will continue to learn and grow in the field of prompt engineering. Also, please consider leaving some feedback. It could bring to light some of the things I could work on, which would improve my methods of teaching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate you, and good luck with your future prompting. Peace, love to y'all.